So the final bill for the children's hospital keeps on rising and rising and rising. Originally it was supposed to cost us 650 million, but now it's looking like it's going to be close to 2 billion. Making our children's hospital the most expensive building in the world. And Simon Harris has been caught lying. He claimed he didn't know anything about these overruns. Until of course a memo was leaked which reveals that he knew back months before he claimed he knew. But it's okay, the government is going to pay PricewaterhouseCooper to investigate why there's an overrun. They're going to pay them 500 grand. Now it's interesting because PricewaterhouseCooper are already receiving 1.8 million from the HSE for writing up a report on restructuring of the HSE. And PricewaterhouseCooper also receive 4 million a year for being auditors for the company BAM. So PricewaterhouseCooper already have a compromised relationship with the construction firm under investigation, BAM. And they also already have a relationship with the HSE. And the government is going to pay them for an independent report on why we've got overruns. Only in Ireland. The construction firm BAM have a history of overruns. The cost of the new port in Cork went from 12 to 58 million. The political class in this country have always had a sick relationship with developers. It's no surprise that some of Ireland's biggest companies are companies like Cement Roadstone Holding. When Fianna Fáil built housing in the 40s and 50s, they also built up the fortunes of many of these developers. This helped to entrench the brown envelope bribery culture that's so endemic in Irish politics. And when the crash came in 2008, most of the debts owed by Anglo-Irish Bank to French and German banks were the debts of developers. It was the close integration of our political elite and these developers that led to our economy going down like a house of cards in 2008. The political elite jumped to attention and went to rescue the Brown Envelope Brigade, all at the expense of the taxpayer, of course. When we finished paying off the debts of the developers that they'd accrued at these banks, we then set up NAMA, where we paid the same developers over a hundred grand a year to look after portfolios they used to own. And now we're selling that land back to them at a reduced rate. Now Fianna Gael were never in power as much as Fianna Fáil over the course of the 20th century. And so they didn't have time to become just as corrupted. But that's the only difference between the two parties. The Fianna Gael fundraiser Phil Hogan was just as capable of putting himself at the heart of these brown envelope networks. And it all comes back to the weakness of Irish capitalism. They've never had a real productive strategy and instead pander to housing bubbles which will enrich developers and landlords but create nothing sustainable for ordinary people. And it's that, that's the secret as to why Ireland is the overrun capital of the world. We have a political elite, a tour to whom are landlords and all of whom are in the pockets of these developers. These developers get gifted public land, they get tax subsidies, whatever they want, they get. The whole children's hospital fiasco just reveals even more why we need to get rid of the landlord parties. We have an opportunity to give them a bloody nose in May when there's local elections on. We need to convince as many people as possible to do whatever they can to vote them out.